Hey shooters, this is Kuda the Shooter from the Shooter's Bay. Today we're going to take a look at the Fortress Dual Pistol Security Box, okay? So it has RFID technology, it has Alarm You Theft Alert, Tamper and Motion Sensitive Alarm, Quick Access, it uses RFID technology, RFID is in, in your phone, so you can use your phone to unlock this, which that can be a good thing and a bad thing, so you know, hold on. Um, it also has an RFID card that it comes with. I'll move this over for you to see. You can use an RFID card. You can use your phone. Or you can just, it has like a little medallion thing that come with it. Or you can use biometrics, your fingers, which I think might be a little bit more secure. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're going to unbox it. First, before we unbox it, let's walk around. Uh, solid steel pistol security safe. Uh, let's see. Two high security override keys. Removable shelf, premium removable high density padding requires four AA batteries, not included. Not a problem. Okay, that's how it looks when it's open. Do, 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 do. And back around the front. So I'm going to go ahead and lift the tab. <clears throat> open it up. Okay, inside. You want to get, before we open this packet, let's get the safe out the box so we can have a little bit more room on the table. Ugh. Let's get the box out of the way. Okay, immediately you're going to see that it has rubber stoppers and it has holes where you can drill it down to the table, your nightstand or wherever you're going to put it. I will probably mount this <clears throat> underneath my nightstand by drilling holes into the floor. Okay. Let's see. It's not really that big, so this might work on a nightstand. It's not as big as I thought it was. When I ordered this thing, I thought it would be huge. It's really not that bad. Right, let me get my seat back here. All right, so this is the top view. Let's open up the packet that it came with. So inside you're gonna get um, two manual keys. We'll put them here. You get your instruction manual. You get your key replacement service card. You might wanna hold on to that. I don't think getting keys is going to be doable without that information. Okay. You get your RFID card, which I don't know, I'll probably shred this right away. You don't want your kids, hey, if the whole point of this thing is to restrict access, you don't want to leave stuff like this laying around. Keeping it, maybe you keep it in your wallet and your kids don't know if you got the kind of kids that rifle through your wallet. This might not be a good idea, but if they don't, this could be a good idea um, just to have. So I'm not going to throw these things away. I'm going to hold on to them and figure out the best way to securely use these things because you got a lot of access here for this one safe. You have manual keys, you have an RFID card, and you have this um, little uh, RFID transmitter thing. Plus you have your biometrics. So that's a lot of ways to get into one safe. And I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So let's go ahead and turn the key and open this up. Whoa, excuse me, guys. That hit my tripod. Wow, that thing, it, it's not dampened, so I don't like that either. So when you turn the key, you really got to have a... When you open this, you got to have your hand close by. It doesn't dampen. It, it opens full throttle. But there's rubber pad. There's rubber stoppers here so the door doesn't damage. But if you're trying to get in this thing in the middle of the night, who's going to remember to do all that to stop it from slamming down? You could probably do something to quiet that up, but eh, I don't like that already. It has a removable shelf. Okay, you got two heavy duty screws for mounting it. And this is what you need if you're gonna go through a floor. If you wanna go through a table, you might wanna get something a little bit smaller. Um, but if you're going through the floor, you want these. Um, let's see what, okay, it's got a nice soft padded bottom. Okay, with look like some tape on here you take that off to have it stick the mount it to the bottom here 
It's another stopper. Don't know what that's for yet. Okay, put that back in. Well, we'll keep that out for now. Um, let's put the shelf back in. I want to take a look at. Uh, Get the shelf for now. Let's see how on the floor you could definitely fit two compacts in there. Definitely not, not a problem. You can definitely easily fit two compacts. I want to get this darn shelf in here, but it's such a pain in the ass to get this shelf in. this side <clears throat> okay so the shelf is back in and the shelf goes all the way back so you got your two compacts on the floor you can put another compact in there or you could do your compact on the shelf okay you got a compact on the floor already um, you could probably get your home defense gun in there. You can. So you can get your SIG in there. Let's see. Let's put a mag in the SIG. If you're going to go on the floor, it'll go in and the door closed. So this advertises two pistols, but you can clearly get three in here. Okay. Now let's see about putting two full sizers in there. What, let's see what we can do with this one with this big old protruding light. Well, it's in there. Okay, that's in there. It's it's definitely in there. Can we get the SIG in there too? Just barely, but it fits. And let's see. You got one compact in there on the shelf. Let's see if we can squeeze another compact in there on the shelf. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You got four pistols in there. You got four pistols in there. It advertises two, but you got four. Let's open it up. Wow, look at that. So let's see, can you get a mag in there? Spare mag? Yeah, you can. Can we get a spare mag anywhere else in there? Probably not a big one like that. We could probably get a, another mag. You can get two extra mags in there, okay? So for $89, this is, a, to me, in my opinion, this is a win. This safe sells on Amazon for $89. I'm sorry, $84.95. So $85, bucks, you might as well just say $90. Bucks. Okay? It's the Fortress, um, it's the Fortress Safe um, Dual Pistol Security Box. And as you can see, now, <clears throat> you can get four pistols in there, but, and you can get your home defense pistol, you can put that in there first, and it'll come right out. Middle of the night, pull it right out. You're good to go. You can put it in there like that if you want, and it'll still fit. Okay, it'll still fit. Even with that full-size canic behind it, with the light on it, it'll still fit. The shelf, I'm quite sure there's a way to secure that shelf, but as you can see, the shelf, let's see if we can get a full-size on the shelf. You definitely can get one full-size on the shelf. Let's see if you can get a compact on the shelf with it. You can, it'll hang off, but you can. You definitely can. So, if you wanna just put the two pistols in there like they advertise, not a problem. You got your full size there. You got a mag. You got another mag. You put those off to the side so they don't interfere with you getting to your pistol. So, and then you can put two compacts. You can put one compact on the top. You can put another compact on the top. So you can still get your full size home defense weapon, a couple of spare mags, and two compacts on the shelf. Or you can switch it around and just put two pistols on the bottom and put plenty of spare mags on top for both. Either way, this is a very versatile box. There's plenty of room for what you may need. If you want to store pistols in here, a couple in here, your everyday carry pistol and your home defense pistol just for quick access, this box will definitely do you right. Now, again, we got to test it with the batteries in it and all of that, which we'll come back and do the RFID function test because I got to install batteries in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this